Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Hinterland. Thanks for joining me here today. So happy Monday, beginning of the week. Nah. Anyways, hopefully your Monday will go well. We got a pretty good cash injection over the weekend, didn't we? We made like over two million bucks selling some jeans, boxer shorts, and t-shirts to the old country store. Was it just me, or is it a little odd that they paid us in cash and with all small denominations? A little bit kind of weird, but cash is cash, right? And as you can see, we still have just over a million dollars in the bank. Yes, I did spend more money. I'm actually shocked we still have a million in the bank. If you leave me alone with two million in the bank on Farming Simulator, it normally doesn't even last this long. I'm going to show you a few things that I got done, though, <clears throat> since we last worked together. Uh, I added three, I think three, summer rentals. This is one of them. This is our rustic model. A little, a little rustic. Have the old campfire here with a little bit of a picnic area in the shade, which I thought was kind of nice. A very basic kind of summer rental. But still, waterfront property. You can't complain about that. I wouldn't think. I guess you could, but I don't know why you would. Let's hop back in the cloths and I'll show you the... See if we can find the other two that I, that I set down. Still trying to keep the passive income going as good as possible. Oh, and I added a little uh, volleyball net action to the uh, family lodging. This is the one that we set up the playground in and stuff. Added that volleyball net. I thought they uh, give them a nice little family activity to do. Let's scooch around to the next cabin. Let's see, this is, yeah, I think, well, is this another new one? This is another new one, I think, isn't it? Let's see what I put down here. So we got another fire pit. Oh, yeah, this is kind of another rustic deal, a nice little deal there. One of these I thought I had put down. A boat. We'll have to look and see. That might be the next one over. Let's keep going here. We're making some good coin from these summer rentals. It seems like the tourists are eating it up. Let's check this one out here real quick. This one's a little bit further back into the woods. Yeah, this one's got the fancy outhouse. Ooh, let's probably get somebody to clean that up. Oh, here it is. Yep, we got the boat down here by the water. Oh, yes, the Lazy Boy Recliner, the classic Lazy Boy. This would be the one I would stay at right here. Kind of set back a little from the road. Trees all around. Got the old fancy bathroom. Very, very nice. So those are the three outhouses, or three outhouses, <laughs> three summer rentals that I uh, hooked us up with. I did a couple other things too, though, that we need to check out. But before we do that, let's scooch over to our farmland. I finished, uh, did we finish with corn, planting corn last time we were together? I forget. Finished planting corn. With our new John Deere setup right here. Really nice setup. Very happy with that. Also finished weeding uh, that field right there. We also, we do need to roll it. And then I also started this new field. Let's see if we can check it out here. This guy here is our latest installment of farmland. I think I have, let's see here. Not there. There we go. Have a course play course set up to finish plowing in the rest of this uh, field. Let's start at the first. I think I need to set this to create 
field. So hit Y on the keyboard for that. It's going to overlap a little bit of what I've done already. So let's just stick with it here for a second. Make sure it actually starts creating a field and doesn't just cultivate. So that's kind of um, the idea is we're going to finish up that cornfield straight ahead there. Get that thing ready. Uh, I think we're going to do... Looks like we are creating new field. Yeah, it's definitely creating new field. I think we are going to do soybeans on this land here. I on this or this field here. Next month, this month and next month. We might run out of time today, but next month we have soybeans. We are either going to do soybeans or what was the other thing that we might need? Um Sunflower, sugar beets. We do need to do sugar beets at some point, and I'll explain why here in a second. So let's head towards town, and I'm going to show you a new production facility that I've put together. Some of you might think it's, uh, well, interesting. I've been wanting to use this since it came out, and I never have, so I finally decided, yep, we're throwing it down put up some more electrical poles so this is our new fish our new fishery is that what you call it a fishery shouldn't be any fish in here yet no fish yet but this thing requires I believe corn and mineral feed if I'm not mistaken Corn and mineral feed, and we are working on getting corn. Mineral feed, we can buy straight out. However, that can get kind of expensive. We still might do that to start with if we have to. I did a, a mod minute or so video on this thing, if I remember correctly. You know, it seems like I remember this one, and it might have been, maybe it was the other fish production thing that required pallets. can't remember. One of them required pallets, too, but this one doesn't seem to do that. And I made a little area here for employees to come and eat their lunch and chill out, maybe play a little b-ball. Now, this one back here, you might be wondering, what the heck is this? This is actually a mineral feed production facility. And for mineral feed, we're going to need sugar beets, soybeans, sunflowers, and canola. And that will make mineral feed. We're not going to we're not going to worry about pig food, but mineral feed right there we go. So now we can produce our own mineral feed for our fishery there. Unfortunately, I think, I mean, we didn't really know we were gonna need it, but we did have, oh, I didn't even bother looking. We have sunflowers. I thought we sent all of our sunflowers over to the bakery to make oil, but that's good news. Good, we do have some sunflower available nice so that is our new production area our fishery and our mineral feed plant like I said I had to bring power in so we've added some more power back to the mineral feed power to the fish power to the fish I also added um, Fencing around our butter company. Nothing too fancy. I brought power back to the, to the butter factory as well. Not sure how it was running without power, but it was. Clothing factory. Man, that's still that, that spinnery right there is a godsend. I don't know. So what do you all think about the choice for going with fish? I thought it was a reasonable choice with... Um, 
you know, this being right on our doorstep, our nice big uh, fjord out into, I don't know what that would be out there, but out into the great beyond waters. Now, the next thing we're going to do, because we can, I know you're all going to love this. Just bear with me. Heinrich talked talk to me into this. So blame him. Actually, let me let me dump our front weight. You know what's coming, right? And let's repair and paint our cloths. Not much for a repair, quite a bit for a repaint. And we're going to sell our cloths for $77,821. We were thinking about doing that anyways when we bought our, um, what did we buy? Did we buy that big, yeah, our big John Deere. But Heinrich showed me this, an upgrade on our class. We had an 870, this goes to a 960. So I was thinking, you know what? It's nice to have a class in the family still. So we're going to crank up the engine to the max, which is 445. Uh, tires are... Okay, I, I don't know. Trailer boat is okay. Let, let, let's see what else we got. I'm a Michelin fan myself. Maybe that's the the American in me. I see a lot of... I know Michelins make some of the best street tires. And there's Midas. Midas have a decent looking little track to them too, don't they? I don't think we've gone with BKTs on too much yet. Maybe we could do BKTs with weights. Let's do that. We'll do BKTs with weights. Of course, we need GPS. And we need to license it properly. So let's get that done. And front and back both? Sure, why not? Our total is $235,047 with tax VAT. And a little something something for Heinrich. Let's go check it out. Oh, I forgot about repairs. Yay. Kind of like what we just sold, only bigger and better. Yeah. It's a nice looking tractor right there. That sounds good too. Let's go grab the front weight. Just opens up our possibilities a little more to not having to worry about which tractor we pick for different for different things. The Voltra is still around. It's our lowest horsepower tractor, but it'll I don't want to get rid of the Voltra. Hey thanks Heinrich, you're awesome dude. Thanks for your help getting this. I appreciate it. And I think we can get the heck out of here. Oh, wait a minute. That's an interesting horn. That's almost like a, a car horn. Interesting. Oh, we didn't repair it. Well, let's get back to the farm. Oh, before we do that, I got one more thing to show you. Finally have... Finally have got the construction done over here that we fenced off a few months ago and check this out we have a new cow facility I think Tin Man would even be proud of me for this one this bad boy holds a thousand cows this is the oh I'm gonna forget the name of the mod um, build building building uh, building something mod. Uh, there we go. Buildable. Oh, there we go. Buildable feedlot. That's what it is. It's the buildable feedlot mod. Look at the price in that. 25 grand. Cheap as all get out. Now, unfortunately, I've tested this many different ways. And it doesn't use the grass, the uh, the animal grazing mod like the other ones do, which is kind of unfortunate. So we won't. But really, 
I'm not, we're not using the animal grazing mod for the other cows either. We're keeping them stocked with TMR, so it's not a big deal. It's really nice for the sheep, if I'm being honest. That's the only thing it's, we're really using it for, but it's fantastic. So with this buildable feedlot mod, basically you put down, here's the milk container for it, which is just kind of a their thing that has to be placed in order for your if you want dairy cows to produce milk that has to be placed down by it this is the basically acts like a silo right here so this is where we'll come to pick up the milk and slurry if we want to get slurry i have not placed the slurry part of it down yet i suppose i could i don't you don't have to place the slurry thing down. And I think if you don't give them straw, they won't produce slurry anyways. So I don't know that we have to worry about giving them straw. We're going to do a little testing on that. So here's the milk container that I put down. And this is the slurry uh, thing that you can put down. And if you put this down anywhere you want to, then they'll start producing slurry, if that makes sense. But both the slurry and the milk are picked up from this simple loading zone right there. And of course, you can just come over here, hit the R button, and you get the grid back so you can kind of plan on where you're putting it. R to get rid of the grid. Pretty simple. Loading area for food and straw. This is where you buy your cows if you want to buy them directly on site. I will show you just a quick... Whoops, that's not what we want. Just a quick flyby of what it's looking like now. And that's our new cow thing. I haven't gotten... I uh, haven't placed an order for any cows from Heinrich yet. So we'll have to do that. This also came, this also came with the buildable pack. I thought this was kind of funny. A tire with water in it. It looks a little obvious that it's fake but i thought that was kind of a fun little fun little thing that comes with that pack and that's it i suppose we could put the slurry thing down it's not expensive to put down i just don't think we're gonna use well maybe with a thousand cows maybe we will use slurry now that i think about it maybe we should put the slurry thing down huh Because if we start, I tell you what, a thousand cows, I bet, are going to produce a lot of liquid poopy. Uh, slurry can go anywhere. It doesn't really matter. We can just plop it down right there. And we can grab a little grass to put around it. Yeah, that'll work. So if we, I think if we do supply the cows with straw, um, they will give us slurry in return. So next on the agenda will be to order cows from Heinrich. We're going to continue with dairy cows. I haven't looked at our production facilities too closely for a bit, so I'll have to check those out, make sure we're staying up to snuff on those. Let's get our class home and get it repaired. I have a feeling we're going to owe a few thousand dollars. A few thousand dollars in repairs on that. Oh, did we repair it? I don't remember repairing our class. Oh, that's the bumper. No wonder. Huh? Oh, man. There you go. Ten, almost ten grand in repairs. That's what I was looking for. She needed a, you know, maybe a full lube job, oil change, um, 
axle grease, stuff like that. You know, Johnson rod had to get replaced. Those Johnson rods are expensive, by the way. Looks like our plower is doing a good job. About 22 minutes left, and we'll and we will have this field plowed up and ready to get prepped. And that's kind of why I was planting um, soybeans was for our mineral feed production facility. We won't be able to start getting fishies going until we do our corn harvest. But that's fine. We've got some passive income that we can do. We've got a, oh, we're going to have a big cotton harvest coming up as well. That should be exciting. Oh, I know what I took, what I forgot. Let's break in our new cloths right now, actually. Our new used cloths, right? I'll tell you what, there was a... I forget what it was. Oh, and I put these light poles in. Don't know if you noticed that they're new on this bridge and that bridge over there. It's funny how much I worry about light poles, but never really use them or see them because I really don't ever play at night. But at least I know they're there. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of one of those. At least I know it'll be lit up nicely. And it's much safer to have the bridge entrances lit. <laughs> I would think probably rails on the bridges too would be a decent idea but oh well safety third let's run over and let's get our class started on doing some field work if you're gonna get on this farm you're gonna get to work straight away right so I think we're chugging along reasonably well here in hinterland we've got a ways to go We've got more farmland that we're going to have to purchase and get prepped up. And I still have some ideas for production that we're going to be doing. If you have any ideas or suggestions for production facilities, I would love to hear them. I kind of like unique ones. I guess they don't have to be, but I think it's kind of fun to do something different than just, you know, oil, flour, bakery, dairy. That's kind of why I kind of wanted to do the fish thing, because I thought, you know, the fish production is... I was kind of looking for an excuse to do it, more or less. Boy, that roller looks so small for the fields we're doing now, doesn't it? Yep, you know what's going on in my mind. Let's create a job. Course play. I do like the roller because it is multifunctional, but honestly, I wonder how often we're going to use the different types of rollers it'll do. I don't know. Let's do two headlands. Actually, I was thinking something. If we do like eight headlands on this thing, Will it? Yeah, me, uh, it still does a lot of this little back and forth junk. I was trying to avoid this zigzag. What if we did another two headlands? Let's try ten headlands. I can't get it to do... That doesn't look like it really changed much, does it? Headlands move. I don't think it changed too much. Yeah, I don't think it is changing much. I think it's maxed out its headland capabilities. Let's do three. Oh, that looks, that's much better. That's what I want is the north-south instead of the diagonal. Well, we'll take that for sure. 
Heck yes. Uh, first waypoint. Goo. Who's in there? All right. I always make sure it's not office guy. I don't like office guy working on my farm. I don't trust him, especially when we have a million dollars of cash sitting around. So we'll have to keep an eye open on the used market for a roller. Or we're just going to have to go for it and pick up one of these big jobbers. What's the 24.3 meters? That's not too shabby. That's almost twice the size of what we're using right now. We might end up just doing that. This thing, this thing is not as wide, but it's fast. And it does seem to get the job done pretty quickly. So off to the races there. How's our plow doing? Not too much left to go, and we'll have this field wrapped up as well. Of course, we'll have to probably lime, I'm going to assume. Yep, we'll need to lime, and then we'll have to do the weeding and rolling. I think we might be doing soybeans on this field. Sugar beets just don't excite me right now. This would be a lot of sugar beets. But we'll, uh, we'll figure that out when we cross that bridge, right? But I think that's it for Hinterland. Oh, there is one more thing I continually forget to mention. Oh, we can get this fired off too. That's right. I was fertilizing our uh, fields that are close to the farm here. Totally forgot about that. Let's uh, get that finished off. Forgot that little vulture was sitting there that whole time. Then the only other thing that I keep forgetting to mention is I exchanged out this shed for a taller one. I don't know if any of you noticed that or not, but I got tired of hitting the top of our weeder and anything else that was kind of a bigger implement. It just wasn't fitting in this shed, and it was a nice fit. So swapped out for the taller shed. I think it's the same one. As that one, I think. I think it is. So we got that taken care of. It seemed to fit in there quite nicely. And that's it for... Uh, boy, that's it for Hinterland. It seems like a lot, but we definitely got the job done. We're getting a little more passive income. We've got some new production we're going to be working on. A new field we're putting in. We're going to be planting some uh, soybeans, I think, next time. Yeah, things are moving along, and I really do appreciate you all checking out another episode of Hinterland. Whew. Happy Monday to you all. Make sure you take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Please leave a like for the video if you enjoyed it. I would really appreciate that. And, of course, subscribe if you'd like. And I will see you back here tomorrow, Tuesday. Lord willing, and the, uh, and the creek don't rise. Is that what it is? Yeah, something like that. You all take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.